morning. I am working on my resupply boxes this morning and I have decided for breakfasts I want to do oatmeal uh, but rather than just buying the little prepackaged bags of oatmeal uh, I've decided to make my own so I can beef it up a little bit and add some things to it that I really like. Um, so I have bought a, uh, let's see, it's uh, 42 ounces of just quick oats, fairly cheap. Um, I have got some powdered milk here to add to it. Brown sugar, sweeten it up. And I like uh, walnuts in my oatmeal. I guess you could add some different nuts if you prefer something else, but I really like uh, walnuts in mine. And this will actually add some extra calories to it and some extra protein. It was like four grams in a serving. So this adds some extra <clears throat> needed calories and protein to my oatmeal. Uh, let's see also the oatmeal itself has five grams of protein so just between the walnuts and the oatmeal that's nine grams of protein for breakfast which is great and let's see powdered milk also has eight grams so what's that uh, 17 grams of, of protein that's great for breakfast to get me going in the morning and then um, I like to add dried fruit to mine so I bought a big thing of craisins, which these were fairly cheap. Um, definitely dehydrated de dehydrated fruit isn't very cheap. So, but this was a good deal. I like craisins. Um, I would have preferred strawberries, but strawberries get really expensive. I might still add a few, but I got this, and then I also got some um, dehydrated blueberries too. So, I'm gonna just mix this all up in a bowl. Uh, and then I can put it all into Ziploc bags when I get done. So I'll show you what it looks like here in a minute after I add all my ingredients. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this, but I actually had to put it into uh, two bowls because there was so much of it, it was too hard to mix in one bowl. So anyway, I've got all the ingredients in here. Um, and I think, you know, I, I didn't measure anything. I'm just doing it for taste. So, but anyway, just getting it mixed in really good. I put about, I don't know, half a bag of brown sugar. Um, the rest of the powdered milk I had, probably, I don't know. I don't know how big of a bag that was, but it's about a 25 ounce bag. So I probably put about half of that in there. So maybe like. 13 ounces, um, whole bag of walnuts, chopped walnuts, which was eight ounces, and uh, just a little thing of blueberries. Um, I'd like to add, I'm probably gonna get some more strawberries and add to this too. Um, bananas, chips would probably be good in here too. I don't know how well those rehydrate, but um, you could definitely put apples, you know, kind of whatever fruit you like. But I, blueberries and strawberries are a good combination. Also, you can get dried peaches, um, or if you dehydrate your own, um, all of those would be really good in here, a combination. So if you look at that, I don't know, it looks pretty good. This is a lot of oatmeal. So my plan is, I so I have 12 uh, resupply boxes, and I'm trying to do five days worth of food in each. So... What is that? Like 70 servings of oatmeal. So my plan is um, to just use some, you know, Ziploc sandwich bags, and I am gonna scoop them out. Um, I've got a one cup serving here. I will probably do, I don't know, a cup and a half to two cups of oatmeal. I think per serving. Um, usually is about right for me. I've used this for backpacking before and this tastes really good on the trail you guys. I mean I like the, the prepackaged oatmeals too. Um, I feel like I get more 
better nutrition making it myself though and I don't know I could eat two three bags of those uh, flavored oatmeal packets easy so um, I feel like I will get a little bit more definitely some more protein and calories in this blend than you'll get in those and then my plan with the Ziploc bags is to just put these I'll probably put the bag with the oatmeal either right inside my cup or my toke's pot and then put the water in here so I'm going to be eating right out of the bag um, but it'll be like inside my pot so you know that'll help give it some stability and then I still won't have to clean my pot out in the morning so I think that's one of the benefits of buying those bags of oatmeal the little bags of them is that you can pour your water right into the bag but I think this is gonna work fine so I will show you how many of this makes when I um, get these bagged up uh, but just as a reference to I totaled up what it cost me for all of this and it was about fifteen dollars for all of this oatmeal so uh, I think that's a pretty good cost for 70 I think I can get probably 70 meals out of this so I will let you know when I get it measured out and then uh, a total of how much that is going to be per serving okay so I got those all bagged up um, this is what they look like I decided to end up putting just one cup in each bag because that'll make two cups of oatmeal once you add the water to it um, I think that's going to be plenty when I added a cup and a half it just looked like too much so anyway um, so the what I made up uh, made a total of 26 bags so about half as many as I need so I will be getting uh, some more supplies and um, doing this again so that'll give me close to 60 um, 60 bags and uh, I can put some different fruits in in the next ones that way I have some variety um, so what this total came out to uh, $15 for everything to make them uh, divided by 26 ends up being like 58 cents a serving so very affordable I think this is gonna be a great meal for the trail and uh, I won't be eating oatmeal every day this is just for my resupply boxes I know there's gonna be days that you know I'm not gonna want to cook and I'm gonna just gonna want to be able to you know eat a breakfast bar or a pop tart or something so this is just what I'm doing for my resupply and then I will switch it up with other kinds of breakfast foods that I buy in towns um, as I'm resupplying on the trail so I'm just doing 12 boxes uh, I listen to a lot of recommendations on where um, the best places are to send boxes to so I'm that's what I'm gonna follow and uh, I don't know I feel like this was a good cheap nutritious meal with lots of protein and lots of calories in it and it tastes really good I, I eat this at home um, a lot of times I've also used it backpacking before and it, it takes tastes really good out there for breakfast and I do like a hot meal in the morning in my cup of coffee it's an oatmeal tends to stick with you for a while so give me the energy I need to get as many miles in in the morning as I can so I hope you found this helpful um, I love feedback and other suggestions that you may have that you found works good for you I'm right now working on how to uh, make a pizza out cooked on my uh, little backpacking stove and uh, I found some little pizza crusts and anyway I'm trying to figure out how to make an easy um, almost like a little Dutch oven on my camp stove it's not going to be a Dutch oven but just I, I want to use foil or something super lightweight and easy just enough to heat up the ingredients and melt the cheese um, I think that would taste really good out there and I so I've been experimenting with different toppings and different ways to do that and as soon as I figure out the best way I will probably post a video on that one too all right thanks for watching uh, if you find these helpful or interesting, please subscribe to my channel, and uh, I will talk to you soon.